Under the Create Question menu here, we have an option for what's called a hotspot. A hotspot is a very cool feature because we have our title here, hotspot, example. And then for our question, what we're going to do is a hotspot is a special place on an image that you want a user to click on. So we have to click on a, a picture here. And we can do so by either uploading the image or browsing a course. Now you have to insert the image in this area. Do not insert it via the insert picture icon here. It's not going to work. So your image has to be added in this spot down here only. But you can have your directions for the hotspot in this spot right here. So for this example, we have our directions. Click on the HTML button on the graphic below. And that graphic is a file called Anatomy of a Text Editor, and it's a JPEG. To go to the next stage, this is the page where we actually drag a square where we want our hotspot to be. Now, I want the user to click on this icon right here, the HTML button, or number D. To do so, just click and drag. And this clicking and dragging is how you define the hotspot. And you do want to have your hotspot kind of encompass an area just beyond the area the user should click. This gives them some room for error or different, you know, finger sizes, so no fat finger syndrome. And it's also useful if they're using a touch device where their screen might be small, and so they're having a hard time touching the exact center of what you want. So having your hotspot border kind of bleed out a bit is a general good practice and pretty common. Now it, this also means that if you're going to have them click on an icon on the edge of your image, you should give your image a wider border so that you can have your hotspot over that corner space because you cannot have a hotspot you know, off the picture. It has to be on the picture. And to clear it, go down here and hit clear and then you can draw a new one. And you can do that as many times as you want until you have the hotspot exactly where you like it. Then go ahead and hit Submit. And now at the very bottom, here's our hotspot. And the user will not see the actual hotspot border, but as the instructor, you do. And just know that you have to be careful that your image is not going to be too big, and you also cannot have more than one hotspot per picture.